Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel. I'm joined today by Ali Graham as we preview the massive clash at the top of the Scottish Championship on Saturday between Dundee United and Wraith Rovers. Ali, who are the favourites for this game for you? I have to say I think it's Wraith Rovers, uh, Blair. And the reason being is um, they've got a game. Uh, been the better side this season against Dundee United, winning two and drawing one, so... I think they can go there with confidence and um, get the vital win. If they don't and they manage to get a draw, they've still got that game in hand, as I say. I suppose the question is, are you surprised that it's coming to the end of March and we've still even got a title race at all between the top two? I'm actually surprised, player. And um, I was looking up the stats, obviously, for the games and about the season. There's been a couple of times where the D United have... You know, they've, they've rattled a couple of teams, you know, Partick Thistle 5-0, Abroath 6-0. But then they're drawn with Inverness twice. Airdrie have went there and won as, as well. So there's been a couple of times you think they're going to kick on and they don't seem to have kicked on. But Wraith Rovers have hang on there, uh, hang on in there because they, they've been quite similar as well. They've had chances to maybe extend their runs, whatever, and they haven't taken that chance either. I think for the, for the league, uh, I think it's been a while since it's been a... You know, with the two teams going at it, you know, with only a point separating them. So, I know there's a, on social media, there's been a few Wraith Rovers fans saying, well, they can't wait, but they're really, really nervous because it's been so long for Wraith Rovers since they've been in a top flight. Um, and the Day United as well. I did tell you at the start, if Jim Goodwin wasn't at the top of the league, um, he'd be struggling a wee bit. But he is there, and somehow they're sitting, and, uh, they're sitting at the top. So, it's all to play for. It really is all to play for. And um, I don't think Dundee United can afford to lose this one. Just touching on the two managers there, even though there is only one point between them, the landscape is very different, whereas Jim Goodwin seems to be under a whole lot of pressure as Dundee United manager. Ian Murray is very much on the upswing with the chasing pack of Wraith Rovers. How do you think that will affect this game? I watched the Inverness game um, on Saturday, the Dundee United, and all honest, uh, you know, Inverness defended brilliantly. They took a fantastic goal for Lua Moat, but the crowd were, there was booze, the crowd were restless. Um, and once that happens, if you get a goal against you and the support aren't behind you, it can really affect the players. I fully believe if Wraith Rovers can go there uh, and get the first goal, I think that, that could, could really spur them on and maybe turn the home support against Jim Goodwin because... You know, I've seen it before, I've seen it happen before, but I've, I've seen it happen at the gym before with other clubs as well, but it's not worked out the way you think it's going to work. So the first goal is really important. If Wraith can get it, I think they can go on and win the game. But again, you know, the D United score first, then the pressure will be on Wraith Rovers. Who, who for you on both sides could be a potential match winner on Saturday? Well, the two strikers, um, and I think... There's a real happy camp at Wraith Rovers. We lose Vaughan's testimonial. He's still banging in the goals, 13, I believe. Um, you know, Stanton's been playing well as, as well, really. They've got goal scorers from the middle as well. So, But he's, you know, I just think that the camaraderie that Wraith have got, pretty similar to when, when I was there years ago, the, the, the guys that we had playing for us. Um, I think Ian Murray's built that same sort of a side. And I think you've seen that with his testimonial. I think it came at the right time. I think it got a togetherness. And I think they're going into these last seven games, um, you know, as a unit. On the other hand, um, the goal that the United scored on Saturday against Inverness to equalise was an absolute peach for, for Malt, you know. And if he's, he's, he's a goal every two games, if he's fully fit, I think he's very important to the side. But they, they, they didn't seem to be able to break down Inverness, and I think that's a big problem. When you think they're going on top, they don't seem to be able to, you know, get that second goal. Tony Watt as well, he, he's maybe chipped in me double figures this season, but no taking as many chances as I thought. So, yeah, it's between them, it's between the four guys, I think, to, to you know, to see who gets the winner. But, um, you know, the, the, the two strikers have been doing really well this season, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of them that ended up scoring the winner. A lot of the talk leading up to this game has been about the ticket allocation. Dundee United obviously not allowing any more Wraith Rovers tickets to be sold. Ian Murray came out and used the word rattled. 
Jim Goodwin coming out and saying that's a lot of nonsense. I don't care if they've got 500 or 5,000. Where, where do you sit on this whole ticket debate and will it truly have an impact on the game? I don't think it'll, it'll have a real impact. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Wraith could have sold another, you know, their, their allocation over two or three times over for that one. Um, but I know that Ross Dockery's come in and said there's a bit of noise coming from, from Snap Partner as well as the comments that you've already added. Um, so it adds to the flavour of the game, it adds to the spice, uh, you know, it could be a fantastic um, match or it could, be, it could be a kicking match, so um, I think it all adds to it. It is pretty disappointing that maybe not as much, uh, more Wraith Rovers fans could have went, but um, I think if they've got the shed end and they fill that, I think the atmosphere will be really brilliant in there, so I think they go there, they've got that support behind them, they know they're there. And, um, you know, I think it will spur them on, especially if they can say, as I said earlier on, they can get that first goal. But it's up to the, the, the United fans. It can work the other way as well. If they've got that the, the big stands full and Wraith do score that first goal, then you'll hear the grumblings in there. So it could maybe work against the United. And we've got these two teams battling it out at the top of the division. There's only a point in it between it just now who knows where it'll end up at the end of the season one of these teams will inevitably drop into the playoffs do you think it's a help or a hindrance that they've been in such good form all season to then have to potentially go through that playoff place yeah but at the top and it's that close you want to be the winner but don't get me wrong you know there's a couple of teams in that league that they've still got to play they've got games left Airdrie's up they sneak back into the playoff position they've got them to play so it's not, it, it, it doesn't it all, you know, end this game. There's points to be won and lost, but it would help Wraith Rovers if they win this one because they've got the game in hand. And then they can push on. It'll be playing catch up if that happens. But, you know, I, I do think there's other teams that have still got a say in this, um, as most leagues, but they'll be out in front and it's up to them to get caught. And I, I get what you're saying. I think if you finish so many points ahead um, and you finish second, it's a bit of a shame that you don't, you know, you don't automatically go up. Because what you've found is teams have actually finished maybe 12, 13, 14 points ahead of fourth place. And of course, fourth place team get promoted. So um, it's all about winning the league now, Blair. And when you're in that position, you've got to take the chance. And finally, just to push you, what is your score prediction for Saturday and who's going to win that all-important league title? Well, my heart's ruling my head here, of course. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Wraith Rovers. Uh, I've won double and um, I can see Wraith going all the way now. I think Ian Murray's proven this season that he's an exciting manager. I'm not young anymore because he's experienced enough now he knows all about. I do magic that he's got Colin Cameron beside him, a guy that I play, and he's probably reasons why there's such a good camaraderie. 2-1, um, Wraith Rovers. And um, But if that's the case, I can still see the United doing well in the playoffs. Brilliant, Ali. Thanks very much.